Welcome to 2020, 2021, <laughs> the year that's going to be interesting. It's so excited to have you guys in class. Hey, I want to walk you through the technology and how to kind of get signed up for everything for this year. Now, note that I have what you're looking at is at the physics class. I teach three different subjects, physics, chemistry, and GMO. Same process. So uh, first of all, you're going to have to get logged into this place called Desire to Learn. So make sure you go to the link that you're seeing. And you, you just click on there and you should already be in the class. And when you log in there, find the course that you're in, which is physics or chemistry or GMO. And you're going to have something that looks like this. And you can say, just get started. Doesn't that kind of make sense? Introduction to physics, level one. I would just go back. Actually, I, I'm a big fan of just having the content page open when you're doing this. Think of the Brightspace platform as like uh, if you were in remote learning last year, it's it's like a big Google Doc. And we're going to have lots of links from here to other things. It also is our testing platform. We'll talk more about that as we need it. First of all, there is a calendar. So if you click on here, you should be able to see what you need to do every day of the class. Right. So this is the calendar. Uh, there's also something in this calendar I think is important to note. There is some join codes, and this is what we're going to want you to do. First of all, you can sign to go formative, use this particular code or whatever, right? Uh, so you're going to click on there. Also, I want you to join the remind team. So text HC, whatever. It's going to be a little different if you're in GMO or, or if you're in... Uh, a chemistry, but make sure you text the right thing to just the, the number 81010. That'll put you in my remind group. I can send you text reminds. That makes sense. Um, the, this is the link to the Brightspace platform and all assignments are found in Brightspace. And then you can see kind of what's happening and what's due. We've got the Delta group and the Sigma group, at least initially. So you can see what's due on that. A couple of things that's important to note here is that group is defined as what we're doing in class and independent. Notice that so uh, Sigma or Delta group, pardon me, you have two days to work on these things. That's what you're going to be doing at home. Okay, now let's talk through some of these these tools as we go back to uh, the main hub, which is Brightspace, right? We've talked about the calendar. This is uh, links to the external tech tools, but all of you are going to have a level one quest guide. This is like your unit packet, okay? We're going to use some gamification tools. You're going to watch a video about this, uh, etc. But you can see the uh, unit guide. It's got the syllabus in it and all kinds of interesting things for you to pay close attention to. So that's something that I'll have copies, physical copies of those. In fact, here I have the physical copy right here for, uh, this is the chemistry packet that you can see that students are going to access. I'll, I have physical paper copies for you. Now, something important now, let's go back to the main screen here. Readings and videos level one. When I click on this, we're gonna have one place where you do pre-work. And the pre-work is this tool that's called Perusal. And I click on this and it launches and it's going to actually enroll you into a tool called Perusal. This is where you're going to get your videos and also your readings. OK, and so now we have this right here. This is you. Uh, I'm actually uh, pretending I'm a particular student um, and now he's actually logged in and I can now get started. There's some tutorials. I would encourage you to go through the tutorials. The key thing here is he can uh, click on his assignments right here. See, look at the top, get started library assignments. He can click on the assignments and, and then you can watch a video. So let's just click on this first video. Actually, the one go in order, point one. If you work on the assignment, I can click on this and this is a video, all right? And in this video, you're gonna watch the video, but it's really important that you pause and add comments. So I'm just gonna, like reading, I like I prefer what watch the from the beginning. But let's say that you start the, right. Yeah. You find the, the spot. Have some pre right here, and then you want to make a comment. Then you click add comment. Then you add a comment. I'm not going to add any comments because I'm actually uh, pretending I'm one of you. I don't want to do that to that person. And then what's going to happen is it's going to have comments on the comments. You can add comments to people's comments, and it's got some artificial intelligence behind it, and it's going to actually grade your comments. Now the first three videos, as a note, when I go back to. Uh, physics here and the assignments. Um, these are just about getting to know you. So I will not grade these. I will just grade for completion. But when you start getting into the content, like um, 
one point introduction to Mr. Physics at 1.2. Notice these are titled 0 0.1, 0 0.2, and 0.3, and then the real units start later on. Also, I can assign reading. So right here, there's a reading assignment. Now in reading, it's a little bit different. You work on the assignment. It launches the textbook, what you're going to need to purchase. All right, it's actually asking for this information for you to purchase this um, or enter an access code. You could get the access code uh, from the school store, or you can just pay with a credit card, your choice on this. Uh, I won't do that. Uh, and then you can read the texts, the actual, this is the physics text that we're going to be using. So that's the, if you will, the Perusol, which is the, you know, we call it the readings and videos for level one. We'll have the same thing for level two. Hopefully this is making sense. Now, you're also gonna have to turn some papers in. So when you turn papers in, again, back to the main link, there is this thing called level one quests and assignments, turn in link, go formative. So what you'll do is you'll click here, and this is gonna take you to go formative. This is the tool that we're gonna use. Um, it's gonna open up in a new window, et cetera. You'll do all this. And I'm just gonna drag this over here now. I've got it set up on another instance. Um, I've got a pretend account with my Mr. Johnny Bergman instead of just Mr. Bergman. And this is what's gonna look like to you. You've got these things called formatives. And this is actually chemistry class I have up done right here. And let me kind of walk you through this. Um, at the end of every class, one of the expectations is that you're going to do a reflection. So you click on the reflections. And in a reflection, I'll talk some more about it, but you're going to just type in some words. Think of this as like a shared Google Doc, and I'm going to be able to see your reflections. You're going to, you're going to like the last three or four minutes of every class period, even our shorter 42-minute class periods, you're going to reflect. So I want you to reflect for 8, 19, last 20, depending on if you're sigma or delta, etc. So that's, you're just going to type in there. So you just say, hey, um, I learned, et cetera. You're going to reflect on what you learned, all right? And then you've got some quests. Now, let's just take you to a rank. A quest is like an assignment, and we'll talk about what a quest is. But I want to, uh, to kind of diagram what that might look like. If we go to quest 1.5, the first thing I want to show you is that you're going to watch a video ahead of time or to read a text. Okay, there's some options later on. Right now, it's going to watch a video. You're going to click on show your work. This, by the way, may be done best on your phone because you can take pictures and then upload a screenshot pic of your Perusol score. I'll explain what that means when we're in class. And then here's the worksheet. And by the way, this worksheet is the same exact worksheet that's in the packet. So you have a paper copy of this. You're then going to answer the questions. So on number three, you're going to explain and this, you know, you're going to answer these questions. But I also want to make a quick note of something I think you're going to find super awesome. If I click on K, I can click this. So, so here on this one, what I would encourage you to do is just think through this. So uh, just the definition of accuracy and precision. So look at So built into the worksheets, the letters, not the numbers, the letters are helpful hints for me. Oftentimes audio files, sometimes short little mini videos. Because you're gonna have to do a lot of stuff at home. Uh, especially when working in plan B here, and it's going to help you if you get stuck. So look at the letters. I got a K, I got an L and an M. It looks like I got three different recordings that I think you are going to find crazy, super helpful when you're stuck at home. What you're going to probably find is that is the best way to like add images is through your phone. I can take pictures. So here is the student view. You just log in in Safari. And let's say that in you know Quest 1.6, I want to upload my notes. So I click there, I click show your work. Then I tap on the, it looks like a little mountain thing, upper middle there. And then I wanna click on my computer, even though it's my phone. I click take photo. I grab the photo, I click to take the picture, click use photo, it uploads. And then down here, I click add image, check. That's done, that's turned in, that's how fast it is. So you may find it, just go to goformer.com, log in using the school stuff and you'll be good. And one more thing about turning things in, most of our quests, which are kind of our regular assignments and notes are gonna go through the GoFormative tool. But bigger assignments we call missions and the missions tend to be labs, uh, are gonna be turned into Brightspace itself. It has a turn in feature. So if you look down here at the getting to know you video and paper, you're, it's in the packet, you might read, I'm gonna have you make a short video and a short paper. And so I can click in here, and then what you're gonna do is it's gonna bring up this screen. Doo -doo 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 -doo. 
And what you can do is you can just click upload. Now, in this case, you're going to have to upload both a paper doc, so to speak, and also a video, right? And you're just going to upload. You click on here and then you are going to find the appropriate file and attach it and then you'll push submit. I think it's pretty obvious. You'll you'll figure this out. So again, reminder that most general assignments go through this tool called Go Formative and bigger assignments, labs, okay, or missions, which we like to call them, are going to happen right in the Brightspace platform. And, and as a side note, the Brightspace platform is also where we'll do our boss battles. Our boss battles are our uh, uh, tests. Hey guys, I'm looking forward to having you in class. Hopefully you can sign up. It'd be great if you could even sign up before we meet in class this week. That would be super awesome. But I know you're awesome because, hey, you're a Mustang. We'll see you in class.